Hello today's video we have the following content. The story of Rose ended perfectly. Liu Yifei posted a heartfelt tribute, and netizens resonated and praised it. On June 25th, the TV series The Story of Rose came to an end. Liu Yifei expressed her deep feelings about this role through her social media platform. She encouraged everyone to devote themselves to the creation of life with warm words, and firmly believed that everyone's life contains a unique fragrance, just like a blooming rose. For the role of Wang Yumi, Liu Yifei is full of affection. She is grateful for the company of this role in June and the enthusiastic response and support from the audience. She emphasized that Wang Yumi's life is full of freedom and enthusiasm. This role shines in the play with its distinctive personality and has become one of her favorite roles among many roles. Liu Yifei specifically mentioned a touching moment in the play, where romance and tragedy are blended, and the emotions are surging, leaving her with an indelible memory. She deeply feels that the company and resonance of the audience are the key to the charm of Wang Yumi's role, making her story so gripping. Facing the end of the role, although Liu Yifei felt a little melancholy about parting, she optimistically expected that in another parallel world, Wang Yumi could continue to enjoy her happy life. These words not only reflected her love for the role and her persistence in art, but also conveyed a positive life philosophy, encouraging people to bravely pursue the splendor of their own lives. Liu Yifei's words deeply touched the hearts of netizens in one unanimous praise. Liu Yifei's role of Wang Yumi was vividly and movingly performed by her. This closing work undoubtedly added a strong touch to the story of Roses. At the successful conclusion of the TV series The Story of Roses, Liu Yifei, with her excellent acting skills and affectionate interpretation, was like a goddess descending, which aroused warm praise from the audience. Her outstanding performance not only brought the plot to a climax, but also aroused the audience's deep resonance with her role Wang Yumi. Netizens praised her superb acting skills and expressed their expectations for her subsequent works. At the end, the image of Wang Yumi played by Liu Yifei was deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Her performance proved the power of art that can inspire people's yearning and pursuit for a free life. The success of the series not only increased the ratings, but also reminded artists that even in the face of honor, they must cherish and maintain their reputation. Liu Yifei's acting charm is amazing, and her performance in the play makes the audience feel as if they are in the scene and can't extricate themselves. Some netizens even jokingly said that Liu Yifei's performance was so contagious that they couldn't get out of the role for a while. This strong sense of substitution is undoubtedly a high affirmation of her acting skills. As the story of Roses came to an end, we bid farewell to Wang Yumi and also pay tribute to Liu Yifei, a talented actor. Every role she interprets is a feast of acting skills, and people look forward to more wonderful things from her on the screen in the future. As her loyal fans, we will always support and accompany her growth and witness her new heights in her acting career together. Next news. The ending of Wang Migi and the story of Rose, dumped by Zhang Guadong, quit work, and finally married Sir Luo. After immersing myself in the story of Rose written by Yi Xu, I was deeply attracted by the heroine Wang Migi. Her unique and charming charm made me unable to extricate myself and indulge in her world. Knowing that Liu Yifei will play the heroine Wang Yumi in the drama version, and that many handsome male actors will join, I firmly believe that this drama will be wonderful and exciting. In Demigods and Semi-Devils, Wang Yuan is known as Sister Fairy. Her beauty is like a bright star, which makes people fall in love at first sight and is enough to overwhelm everyone. It can be said that she is a beauty that can overwhelm the country. Wang Yumi perfectly interprets this peerless beauty with her stunning performance. In The Legend of Sword and Fairy, Zhao Linger shows the same innocence and fearless pursuit of love as Wang Yumi. The two have similar temperaments and jointly compose a moving love chapter. In Dream of the Red Chamber, Zhao Painter can show her elegance in the hall and show her dexterity in the kitchen, and Wang Yumi also has such multifaceted talents, which is not inferior to her. In the play Go Where the Wind Goes, Su Hong Dao's lazy temperament and easygoing attitude appropriately reflect Wang Yumi's daily life. She also faces the ups and downs of life with a calm attitude. In general, Liu Yifei's Wang Yumi this time can be said to have integrated the essence of many classic roles she has created in the past, showing an ingenious acting performance. Let me ask, who can control this role except Liu Yifei? CCTV8 is extraordinary, and the secret of ratings is in its hands. After celebrating Union 2, another masterpiece is about to come out, and the trend of explosion is unstoppable. The five episodes of the drama version of the story of Rose are watched in a row. Compared with the original work, there are both surprises and regrets. The plot is compact and fascinating, 
and the character creation is vivid and three-dimensional, but some details still need to be improved. I hope that the subsequent plot can more perfectly present the essence of the original work. The location of the story has changed significantly. The original background is set in prosperous Hong Kong, while the drama version cleverly moved the scene to the historic Beijing. The collision and fusion of the two cultures injected new vitality into the story. The character of the heroine has changed significantly, she has transformed from a young girl who has never set foot in the sea of books to a capable lady who has just entered the workplace. In addition to the original characters, this book also cleverly introduces a brand new character by Zio. She and Wang Zhenhua have a plain but warm love story, adding some color and interest to life. Fortunately, Zhou Shihu's opening plot is quite similar to the original. Next, I will tell you the legendary story of Wang Mige based on the original work. In order to enhance the reader's immersive experience, we decided to uniformly name the heroine Wang Yumi, in order to trigger deeper resonance and emotional projection in the story. Zhou Shihu and Wang Yumi's brother Wang Zhenhu have known each other since childhood and have a deep friendship. After graduating from college, the two joined hands to create a construction company and jointly seek development plans. Before he met Wang Yumi, he had just entered the palace of marriage, and his wife Guan Zhuzhu is even more happy to be pregnant, with a happy family and a successful career. His happiness was enough to make countless people envious. When Zhou Shihu saw Wang Yumi, those trivial things instantly became insignificant. Her appearance seemed to take away all his troubles and make his mood peaceful and beautiful. Zhou Shihu seemed to be reborn, and his heart and eyes were all tied to Wang Yumi. After Wang Zhenhu learned about this, he felt mixed emotions and found it difficult to accept this huge change. Zhou Shihu was mentally ill, and Wang Zhenhu had no choice but to ask Wang Yumi for help. However, Wang Yumi did not agree with Wang Zhenhu's point of view. She firmly believed that Zhou Shihu's marriage breakdown was caused by himself and had nothing to do with her. She was determined and did not want to get involved. She never fell in love with Zhou Shihu, and she played with him only because Zhou Shihu was funny and humorous which could help her dispel loneliness and find a little joy. When Zhou Shihu was in a low mood, he decided to transfer his shares in the construction company to Wang Zhenhua. Since then, he rarely had the opportunity to see Wang Yumi again. Wang Yumi was once imprisoned at home by Wang Zhenhua, and then moved to Su Zhengsheng's home to settle down. The change in her life situation was touching. As time went by, Wang Yumi gradually forgot about Zhou Shihu. However, Zhou Shihu still did not give up and insisted on asking Wang Yumi to express her position in person. Wang Yumi was deeply annoyed by this and told him directly and firmly, Please don't bother me anymore. I don't want to see you again. Zhou Shihu was cold and frosty when he heard Wang Yumi's words. A chill suddenly surged in his heart, as if he had broken free from the frenzy and instantly regained his calmness and rationality. He finally chose to divorce, leaving his newborn baby behind, leaving his hometown and going abroad. As time goes by, despite the changes in the world, Wang Yumi's figure always lingers in his heart and is hard to let go. Zhou Shihu's ex-wife Guan Zhuzhu unexpectedly found a good match after experiencing changes. She married a wealthy businessman and lived a happy life without having to worry about her livelihood. It can be said that a blessing in disguise. After Zhou Shihu faded out of Wang Yumi's life, she was unwilling to be lonely and found a new companion, Alex. The two of them accompanied each other, and time quietly flowed in laughter, adding new colors to Wang Yumi's life. Alex, the pride of the history department of the University of Hong Kong, is handsome and talented. He not only dabbled in various sports skills, but also made achievements in photography art. His photography skills are amazing. Wang Yumi's relationship with Alex was not for the joy of love, but to ask him to teach water skiing, horse riding and other skills. The two of them accompanied each other, intending to improve their skills together, rather than to foster feelings. As Wang Yumi's skills improved, her eyes gradually focused on another mixed-race child, and new expectations and challenges surged in her heart. Although this mixed-race child didn't talk much, he had a unique insight into art. The two of them often went together, immersed in the melody of music and appreciating the exquisite performances of drama. Alex was determined to take Wang Yumi back, so he waited at the school gate. When Wang Yumi and the mixed-race child appeared, he stepped forward decisively to challenge them, and the two had a fierce confrontation. In the end, because of this dispute, all three were summoned to the police station. Wang Yumi was severely punished by the school for this matter. In anger, she resolutely ended her relationship with the two people, showing her firm determination. 
Alex couldn't accept the reality, and in despair, he swallowed sleeping pills and attempted suicide. His family was anxious and hurried to the Wang family to ask for a clear explanation. What was not told? Wang Yimei was disappointed that Alex had not been seen for three months. He seemed so timid. At Wang Yimei's birthday party, Zhang Guodong appeared in a white dress and instantly attracted her attention. The surprise and excitement of the first meeting seemed to be frozen in time. Wang Yimei's frequent changes of partners in the past made Su Zhengcheng predict that her liking for Zhang Guodong would not exceed three months. However, things did not go as Su Zhengcheng expected. Zhang Guodong's unique style of doing things broke the routine, making Wang Yimei's feelings continue to this day. At first, although Zhang Guodong had an engagement, he could not resist Wang Yimei's passionate emotions that surged like a tide. Wang Yimei fell in love with Zhang Guodong for the first time. In order to win his favor, she gave up her former gorgeous dress and pursued a simple and fresh style to show her innocence and restraint. Wang Yimei was hospitable and invited Zhang Guodong to her house for dinner. After the dinner, the two walked into the study, danced barefoot, and showed intimacy and joy when they were face to face, enjoying the time together. These generous treatments are exactly what Wang Yimei's predecessors dreamed of but could not achieve, but now she is the only one who enjoys them, which is really enviable. However, Zhang Guodong's next move shocked Wang Yimei like a bolt from the blue. She never thought that there would be a man who would resolutely reject her and insist on choosing to marry another woman. This unexpected change made it difficult for her to accept. Indeed, Zhang Guodong's behavior was exactly like this. He did not get out of deep affection for his fiancée, but out of selfishness to maintain his perfect image. Wang Yimei's heart was severely hurt. With Wang's hen who was careful arrangement, she went to New York for further studies, hoping to seek healing and growth in the ocean of knowledge. If Wang Yimei had lived through ten years like this, her former lovers who had admired her all their lives would probably be shocked and feel indescribable emotions when they heard the news. Wang Yimei had a firm character and no one could shake her decision. At the time of the stalemate, she was lucky to meet Fu Jiamin because of the need to renovate the old house, and the two got to know each other. When Fu Jiamin first met Wang Yimei, she felt an indescribable admiration in her heart, but Wang Yimei was unaware of Fu Jiamin's deep affection, and her heart did not ripple. Wang Yimei stepped into Fu Jiamin's residence because of the renovation of the study in the old house. Fu Jiamin's melodious piano sound drifted with the wind, instantly touching Wang Yimei's heartstrings. The melody seemed to be intertwined with her beautiful memories with Zhang Guodong. In order to alleviate her brother Fu Jiamin's troubles, Wang Yimei quickly started a secret relationship with Fu Jiaming. The two stayed together silently, avoiding the eyes of the outside world, and carefully maintained this pure emotion. Fu Jiaming, as the emotional sustenance after Zhang Guodong, is the true lover in Wang Yimei's heart. However, as the relationship deepened, Wang Yimei accidentally discovered the secret hidden by Fu Jiaming. Fu Jiaming has been diagnosed with a terminal illness and the doctor frankly said that he only has more than three months left to live, which is very sad. Fate is so ruthless that people sigh at the fragility and brevity of life. Faced with such a situation, Wang Yimei did not retreat and leave, but instead composed a touching love movement with Fu Jiaming, which was heart-wrenching and moving. She once had the vision of tying the knot with Fu Jiaming, but Fu Jiaming always refused resolutely, so she had to give up this idea sadly and hide her feelings deep in her heart. Wang Yimei never regretted it. She firmly believed that love was supreme. That love of life and death was the necessary experience for her to wash away the feeling of being depressed for ten years. She faced it bravely and walked on firmly. After Fu Jiaming passed away, Wang Yimei went through a period of healing and mustered up the courage to start a new chapter of communication with Sir Rod Kuang. The friendship between the two quietly blossomed over time. Although Sir Rod Kuang was more than twenty years older than Wang Yimei, he was physically strong and energetic. What was particularly valuable was that he could give Wang Yimei a deep respect and sense of security, making the two get along harmoniously. Wang Yimei, love is as blazing as fire, and she is deeply affectionate and devoted. Once the relationship ends, she can decisively turn around and calmly welcome a new chapter in life and continue to blossom yourself. Looking at Wang Yimei's free and easy style, I can't help but think of the image of Ha Dongwei in the world. She is also so unconventional and free as the wind, which makes people yearn for and admire her. Since Zhou Bingai passed away, Ha Dongwei felt deeply in pain, and then she quickly walked out of the haze and married an overseas Chinese who was nearly 20 years older than her. It was only more than a month. 
Excellent women, no matter how time and space change, they can always make consistent choices at critical moments, showing their unique wisdom and charm. Wang Yimi and Luo Dekin are happily married, and their married life is quite happy. It is worth mentioning that Luo Shen's Hong, Luo Deking's only son, was also attracted by Wang Yimei's charm after meeting her and fell in love again. In the past, Luo Shen's Hong knew nothing about Wang Yimei's identity. It was not until the truth came out that he realized that she was his long-lost stepmother. This sudden truth made him feel heartbroken and miserable. During the trip to Europe, Wang Yimei and Luo Deking accidentally met her first love Zhang Guodong. The coincidence of the reunion was very touching. Zhang Guodong had ended the misguided marriage. Ten years had passed, and he and his wife had wasted their best years, leaving only regrets and regrets. After learning the truth, Luo Shen's Hong resolutely gave up his deep affection for Wang Yimi and turned to fully support his father Luo Deking to jointly cope with the challenges of this marriage and guard the solid fortress of family affection. Zhang Guodong is the only one Wang Yimi loves but has never had. His deep affection is like a magnet, which has an irresistible attraction to her. Faced with the choice between marriage and long-lost love, Wang Yimei fell into deep confusion. Whether to stick to the existing stability or pursue long-lost emotions, her heart is full of entanglement and struggle. Luo Deking cleverly played a sick and weak play to help Wang Yimei make an extremely wise choice, and finally put her on the right path. Wang Yimei's performance made Luo Deking feel relieved and full of joy. When she learned the truth, she was so excited that she couldn't express it in words. Her eyes were shining with crystal tears, and her happiness was beyond words. After this incident, Wang Yimei deeply realized that she could no longer give up Luo Deking in her heart. She was unwilling to endure the pain of parting like Fu Jiaming. Only when you are in a desperate situation can you understand where your heart truly belongs. Zhang Guodong watched everything silently, and felt that Wang Yimei's decision was worthy of respect. He turned around silently and left lightly, leaving space for the other party so that this choice could be respected. As time passed, another decade passed quietly, and Fang Taichu had grown up. She had a beautiful face. Although she was not as beautiful as her mother Wang Yimri, she was also a rare beauty with outstanding appearance, which was amazing. Fang Taichu was completely different from Wang Yimri. He had a calm personality and knew what he needed. He was not as emotional as Wang Yimri and could not stand loneliness. He knew what kind of life he was suitable for and was not moved by external things. She chose a good partner, Zhou Tanghua. Although he was born in an ordinary family, he had great ambitions and was determined to make progress. He was indeed a young and talented person who was admirable. When the news of Fang Taichu and Zhou Tanghua's engagement came out, she set foot in Hong Kong again. This return seemed to be arranged by God, reconnecting her with the city. When Fang Taichu first arrived in Hong Kong, her uncle Wang Zhenhua and his family and Wang Yimei all treated her with warm hospitality showing their hospitality to make up for the years of debt and show their deep friendship. After Wang Yimei's many sincere invitations, Fang Taichu finally met the mother who had gradually blurred in his memory. The reunion of the two seemed to have traveled through the dust of time, which made people feel very emotional. Wang Yimei hoped that Fang Taichu could stay in Hong Kong for a long time, so she made careful arrangements for Fang Taichu to experience the unprecedented life of a rich girl. At the same time, Wang Zhenhu also generously provided Zhou Tanghua with a generous job with an annual salary of up to 300,000. However, Fang Taichu did not comply with Wang Yimei's expectations, and Zhou Tanghu also resolutely refused the high-paying job that seemed to be obtained through connections, showing their independent and firm character. They returned to their homeland hand-in-hand -hand and lived a life that was both ordinary and extraordinary, quiet and fulfilling, full of love and warmth. Wang Yimei's life with her prominent family background and extraordinary charm, has attracted countless admirers. Even after the passage of time, they still can't forget her figure and are as affectionate as ever. She not only shows outstanding talents in many aspects, but also has a gifted talent in reading. She has an amazing memory that can remember everything she sees, which truly interprets the definition of genius. There is no need to delve into every detail of the book, just a quick look before the exam can show amazing results in the exam which is amazing. She is immersed in the sweetness of being loved. In her love, she never pondered the loss of the one who loved her, and when she fell in love with someone else, she never expected how the pain of losing her lover would come. She was independent and tenacious, always sticking to the truth in her heart, living the most beautiful scenery in her heart, blooming her beauty throughout her life. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. 
Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 